Robin, um, if you could give us a wee bit of info on why you came into the CAST programme, I know yourself and Breed um, decided to go ahead and become CAST members. Um, why, why did you come to that decision? Yeah, Breed and myself, we have been looking around. We're at a stage in our life there that we were looking for some investments. I personally have a, a fond interest in whisky. Uh, the Paris Court brand is probably what drew us here. You know, I've been visiting Paris Court since I was a, a child, you know, be it the waterfall or the, even the golf course in later years. And Noel Sweeney's uh, relationship with this project uh, was of big interest to me as well. Being a local, everything just ties in together there. It's the hotel, it's the house, it's the gardens, the waterfall. Uh, and now the whisky, and I think it just brings a, a fantastic story together. And um, are, you, are you a big whisky fan, or uh, is it something you, you appreciate and enjoy? I, I certainly enjoy whisky, but I'm learning all the time. I think it's, a, it's quite a complex process, it's a, it's a complex drink. It uh, offers quite an exciting learning curve there for, for, for everybody, and it seems uh, it's very much a, a social drink now as well. You know, you see younger people drinking it now. It's got its place now in the, in that environment and I think it's fantastic, it's a great story behind it. Is the social side, is that something which um, uh, drew you to the, the CAS programme? What you've delivered here with the tasting rooms and the, the environment that you've built here in that beautiful building, uh, I think that lends itself as well to engaging more in investment, uh, not just sort of sitting back and, and waiting for your, your three years, uh, to be actually engaged in the process to some degree uh, and then to share it with friends and family uh, I think it's a great, uh, great opportunity, yeah. And the, you're, you're saying you're interested in learning more about whisky, the possibility of finishing it in different cask finishes, whether it's Amarone or Sherry or Rum, is that something which you... That really excites us, to try and possibly get something there that's a little unique to somebody else's. Uh, and I think you know, there, there could be great fun there around uh, uh, different barrels and, and working with Noel as well and taking his advice. Um, yeah, I think I think that's going to be really good. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're absolutely delighted to, to have both you and Reid uh, as members. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, it's been fantastic so far. Many events and uh, a wee whiskey along the way over the next. Time. I'm looking forward to it. We're here in the Powers Court Distillery Maturation Warehouse with Noel Sweeney. Noel's delighted to have be here and to have a chat with you. We're talking about our CAS programme. Can you tell me just what is the Powers Court Distillery CAS programme? I think the CAS programme is a unique opportunity for people to get involved in the distillery and in the whisky that we produce. Um, there are only 397 casks and uh, as such that gives uh, quite a limited number of people the opportunity to get involved. And the whisky will be in our cask for up to 10 years. It'll be 200 litres of new make spirit and uh, it's a kind of an exclusive club for uh, members to be in and uh, they will have uh, certain privileges and uh, they'll have uh, access to events that will be happening here and to uh, special releases of whiskies that we will um, release over the next 10 years. So members will have a lot of other benefits as well around the estate uh, in the future also. And the Irish whisky industry is, is booming and it's buoyant at the moment, uh, both in Ireland and globally. There's a lot of new distilleries opened up and uh, some cast programmes as well. Can you tell us what's, what's different, what's special about Powers Court Distillery? Well, Powers Court Distillery is uh, located in a beautiful part of Ireland, in uh, one of the most nicest uh, valleys, as I said, the Garden of Ireland. But apart from that, you have uh, the spirit that we're going to be producing here. I think that the most important things, you can distill it down to three things. Uh, the people, the plant and equipment that we use, and the produce or the ingredients. We start with the ingredients. The water, for example, has to be of a very uh, good quality. And in Powers Court, we're very fortunate to have an aquifer underneath the estate. And the water is coming from that. And it will be of a mineral water. And it's already drinking water quality. After that, you're talking about the plant and equipment. So we had our distillery uh, built um, by Forsyths, uh, who would be renowned worldwide for, for pot still production and the installation of equipment. And uh, so they did all of the engineering. So all of these things uh, uh, influenced the spirit and of course the stills. 
Um, I've been lucky to be able to have my input on the still and, and, and the shape of the still so that we get the correct uh, distillation and then also the different cuts that you can make through the distillation uh, influences the final spirit that we make. Finally, the people, uh, I myself have been in the distilling business for over 40 years. 30 years of that has been in whiskey and uh, I'm the only uh, working Irish distiller that's in the Whiskey Hall of Fame and it's been a privilege to be part of a tradition that has gone on for centuries in this country and the team that I have uh, built around me um, are learning those traditions in milling, uh, fermentation, distilling and maturation and it's a great honour to be able to pass that tradition on to the new generation.